Hey, Periscope, y'all come on on the room. Come on in the room. Come on in the room. Come on in the room. I know it's that drive time right now, but I bless each and every one of you for taking this really quick scope. I'm about to take care of some business as usual, but I just wanted to come by here. Come by here, Lord. <laughs> that old song, come by here, Lord. Y'all go ahead and invite your followers in Jesus' name. Come on, this is Prophet Carolyn Johnson out of Dallas, Fort Worth. this is a quick word. This is a quick word in the name of Jesus. This is a real quick scope for you. Come on in the room. Come on in the room, I say. Thank you, Jesus. Come on in the room. Come on in the room. Come on in the room, people. Glory to God. I said, come on in the room. Hey, hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? I've had a long day. I'm, hopefully your day has gone well too. Come on in the room. Start double tapping that screen to give God some glory. Go ahead and invite your followers while the room fills up. Again, this prophet is Carolyn Johnson out of Dallas, Fort Worth. Love each and every one of you. I just had to stop by this quick scope. I tell you today, today, come on in the room, people of God. I love each and every one of you. Um, it's going to be a real quick scope. I'm just waiting for the room to fill up a little bit. I know folks are on their drive time. Hey, come on in the room. Praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Come on in the room. Come on in the room. Come on now. Jesus is my doctor. Come on in it. Writes all of my scripts. Come on in the room, people. Come on in the room, people of God. I love each and every one of you. Again, this prophet is Carolyn Johnson out of Dallas, Fort Worth. <laughs> You're in the room. I'm in the room. I know that's right. Come on in the room. Give about a few more minutes. I know folks are driving home from work. This is drive time. This is not the right time to be on scope. I normally don't get on this early, but I just had to come by here and release that word. I had to release that word in Jesus' name. Bless each and get <laughs> Y'all got that word already, right? Amen, 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 amen. You know what? This has come upon in time. There is a lot of distractions. People are trying to distract God's people from their purpose and their destiny. I just came by to give you guys this little quick scope to let you know, don't let any distractions deter you from your destiny. No detours this time. I said no detours this time. I said no detours this time in the mighty name of Jesus. Y'all want to understand something in this season. God has a mighty work for you. <laughs> amen, amen, glory to God. This is a time in a season where the enemy is going to get you to try to get you distracted in what God has planned for your life. He has planned for your family. He has planned for your children. He has plans for your finance. <laughs> And when you know that you're going in the direction that God has given you to go in this season, you know what's about to take place, right? He's going to try to get you off track. He's going to try to come in your house. Yeah, but hear what I'm trying to say to this evening. But let me let you know, so when a thief is found, the word of God says he's got to pay back what? 100 fold what he stole. You know, people don't realize that when the enemy trespasses on your property, for no apparent reason went out an invite. Did you realize that, that he has to also pay back 100 fold plus one fifth to the priest? Y'all better hear what I'm about to say. I know he is a straight line liar. I know that's right. But in this season, I just want to encourage you tonight. I want to encourage you tonight to stay focused because the goal is to do what the Lord has planned for you and your family in this season. And ain't nobody mad but the devil. When he rear his head, you guys better get in the word and give him back the word because he hates the word. Y'all y'all understand what I'm saying. Y'all some educated scopers that come on this scope. I love each and every one of you because you know the word. This season, I just wanted to come by here to let you know, no matter what it looked like, no matter what kind of day that you've had, 
Well, glory to God. Well, thank you so much for stopping on by. Got some prayer requests. We got to get down on the floor shortly later on this evening. But I just wanted to come by this school, this evening. I just walked in the house and just changed my clothes. And then I just realized, you know what? Life has no limits. But the enemy think that it has limits. So I just want to come by. I want to, I want to pray for you in the name of Jesus. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go, go ahead. I just want to come by this scope to let you know, stay focused for the next two weeks. I'm telling you, things are going to be coming. Amen, 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 amen. I'm going to be taking a look at because I had to get out to uh, do some things today. But any, any, anyway, I just wanted to come by this scope to let you know in this season, especially for the next two weeks, are going to be so pivotal for your ministry, your marriage, for your finances. You may not understand what I said in the next two weeks. That just came down. I just pulled that down out of heaven. For the next two weeks, it's going to be pivotal for you and your home and your finances. Because in the next two weeks, God is getting ready to make a major turn and shift in the economy. So you guys got to be able to hold on. Do you know you know you're you're at the brink about what God has already promised you for years. You're at the door. You're at the brink of your what breakthrough. And then the devil wants to come in and throw a monkey wrench in. But let him know that you're going to take that monkey wrench and you're going to go ahead and open whatever you need to open up in this season. Don't think it's strange that you're going to get a lot of distractions within the next two weeks. But I come by this scope to let you know that means that God is getting ready to turn some things around and you're about to have a breakthrough after breakthrough after breakthrough in the next two weeks of your life. That is within the next 14 days, God is getting ready to turn this country around. Y'all better hear what I'm saying. Things may seem strange in the atmosphere, but make sure that you understand that you have to fast and pray during this time. You have to be able to pull those strongholds down. You're going to have to be able to pray and intercede on the behalf of other people. You're going to have to pray and intercede on the behalf of your spouse that don't know how to pray, that can't get a prayer through. Y'all better hear what I'm saying. You know, sometimes we just too big headed in order to drop to our faces, in order to cry out to God. You see, I've been there before. I've cried out. And within the next 20 minutes after getting off the floor, I've had my breakthrough. So I know what God can do. There is no limit to what God can do in this season. It is coming. Amen. It's coming. I'm going to tell you, you better be prayerful and mindful in the next two weeks here. It's going to be pivotal in this country. It's going to be pivotal in your region as well as your territory. God is about to do some things. I said life has no limits but there is no lid. The devil places a lid on you, but let him know that your God has no lid. There is no limit in the spirit realm. There is no limit to what God comes going to do for your family. There is no limit to what God is about to throw out to you in the next two weeks. Y'all better hear what I'm saying. The Lord just gave me that two weeks thing. I, wouldn't, I just want to come on and encourage somebody. But in the next two weeks, God is about to make some major changes in this country and around the world. We're going to talk about a few things tonight, but I bless each and every one of you. I love you. I want to encourage you. No matter what took place today, God is still in control. And I want to let everybody on this scope know, no matter where you are in life, no matter what comes your way, no matter how many lies they told on you, God has already forgiven you. He sent your sins to the sea of forgetfulness. And the only person that can bring that up during this season is a distracting devil and his imps. But right now, this day, we pull that stronghold down this day in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and I declare blessings upon your house. I decree and declare that every distracting spirit that would be cut off right now in the name of Jesus I send the fire of God in the camp of the enemy. I send the fire of God to the camp of the enemy. I burn down every altar that's against your family. I burn down every altar that's against your life. 
I bring down every altar that's against your children. I bring down every altar that's against your finances. I bring down every altar that's against your promotion. I bring it down. I pull the strongholds down and I burn that altar down with the fire of God. I set the fire of God this day in the name of Jesus. So I just come by the scope, guys, and let you know, be encouraged. Be encouraged in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that it shall be done and it is already done. Be encouraged today. Be encouraged in the mighty name of Jesus. Move out on the things of God. Until you move out on the things of God, he cannot bless you in this season. This is a season where you will not hold back what God has given you as a mandate for this season. I don't care what it look like. He ain't giving you unless you walk out and walk in your purpose. So I decree and declare that you walk in your purpose today in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare that it is so done in Jesus' name. I bless each and every one of you tonight. I send the blood of Jesus to your homes. I will see you tonight about 1030 Central. Well, actually, yeah, about 9, is it 930? 930 Central Standard Time. I'll say 10 o'clock Central. <laughs> I'll see you guys at 10 o'clock Central Standard Time. I'll see you at 10 o'clock Central Standard Time. And we're going to talk about some things that are getting ready to happen within the next two weeks. Actually, it's going to be within the next 24 hours. And if you got a testimony to give with that 24-hour anointing, you go ahead and send that testimony to Prophetess Carolyn Johnson at gmail.com. I'm receiving some testimonies already. And then that's Prophetess Carolyn Johnson at gmail.com. Hey, it's 11 o'clock your time, New York. I hear that right. New York's in the house. Glory to God. Y'all tell me where you call, where you're chiming in from before we leave off this scope real quick. Just go ahead and type it in and tell me where you're chiming in from. Sometimes I forget about that in the beginning. Yeah, tonight at uh, 10 o'clock Central Standard Time. Yeah, 10 Central Standard. Hey, Atlanta's in the house. It just was there. Hey, Gavelson, love you. Hey, Alabama, my home state. Pikesville, North Carolina, Indiana, Florida, San Diego, love San Diego. All right, all right, all right, all right. I will read that story. Yes, I will. Hey, Bermuda, I remember your island of Bermuda. I love your story. You've got a great story. God is going to use you, woman of God. Hey, San Diego. San Diego's in the house. I love each and every one of you. I'm going to go ahead and get off this scope, but I just came by to encourage you. No more distractions. I said, move out in the things of God in this season. See, what the enemy tries to do is bring it down, but don't, 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 don't let it happen. Move on in Jesus' name. Y'all better hear what I'm saying in Jesus' name. I will check out that website. Yes, I will. Yes, I will in Jesus' name. Glory to God. I love each and every one of you. 10 o'clock Central Standard Time. Again, this is Prophetess Carolyn Johnson from Dallas, Fort Worth. Came by to change my clothes real quick, and I'm going to get back out, but I've got to come back in. But I'll see you at 10 o'clock Central Standard Time tonight. I love each and every one of you. Invite your followers because we're going to have a Holy Ghost explosion. Hey, in Jesus' name tonight. God's got something for you tonight. So don't, 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 don't stay up. You got to stay up. Get your popcorn and your pajamas and your tea. Y'all but we be ready. <laughs> 12 midnight in Bermuda. Okay, you're going to have a testimony by 12 midnight in Bermuda. I, you better hear what I'm saying. You're going to have a testimony by 12 midnight. I decree and declare that this night in the mighty name of Jesus, you won't get that phone call that you expected. Okay, you're going to stay up. Well, glory to God, I'll be back on at 10 o'clock this evening, Central Standard Time. Providence Carolyn Johnson from Dallas Worth. Love each and every one of you. I have to go right now, making sure that I am on. And hopefully you guys receive this. Be encouraged. The enemy is just mad because you are about to blow up. Boom, in Jesus' name. Glory to God, I got to go. Uh, God bless each and every one of you. Love you. Prophet Carolyn Johnson out of Dallas, Fort Worth. Yes, right. Boom. In Jesus' name. <laughs> Glory to God. Bless you. See you tonight at 10 o'clock Central Standard Time.